Hey everybody, welcome back and a big hello from my new home in Europe. I know it's been super quiet on the Miss Fix It video front. I really appreciate your emails as well as your patience. You know, all I can say is that when you are packing and moving from one country to another, it is anything but quiet in your life. So like I said, I appreciate the patience. Now, let's get right into it. What am I talking about today? Well, in the spirit of love, which is what brought me to Europe in the first place, I am talking about courtship. That's right. Courtship is on the topic block. Specifically, what is threatening courtship today? You know, I'm getting a lot of emails about this. I'm sure it's because it's spring, you know, and in spring you think about romance and then you think about summertime loving and it's all so sweet. But the funny part about this is that not only have I gotten emails about this from the women saying, where are the good guys? Where's the courtship? We're not getting it. Right before I left the States, I did a radio show, and that was a mainly male audience, and the guys were talking about the same topic. Journal, if you're watching, this one's for you. I'm going to make sure I get that point that you and I discussed on the uh, radio show. So here goes. Three things that I'm going to focus on today that are threatening courtship. Number one, people not knowing what courtship is and where it actually belongs. Now, here's the thing. Do you know what courtship is? Do you know where it actually belongs? See, the definition of courtship is that period of time where two people are developing a romance within the context of pursuing a long-term relationship, especially as it relates to marriage. That's actually what courtship is. It's not the casual dating. It's actually after the dating. It's like you start to date, you get interested, you think, you know what, there might really be something here. And that's really when the courting starts to come into play because now it's really about setting the stage for a potential long-term relationship. Here's the problem. When, ladies, you are trying to get a man to display courting behavior toward you when you're casually dating, you're not really interested, then you have men investing in a relationship for a different reason and they think they're on board with you and you're not on board and it's not cool. So you should not be looking for courting type behavior when you are just getting to know someone. And here's where this is coming into play too. There's a lot of stuff out there with the women's empowerment and you know, oh, he's got to prove himself to you, he's got to earn you. Listen, that is a little bit skewed. Earning should be about balance. It should be about you bringing things to the table and your partner or potential partner bringing things to the table. And again, it's complimentary. It's not you standing on the sidelines saying, you know, spend your money on me or you're not worth my time. That is a very ugly way to approach it and it's not a good way to approach it. It's definitely not going to get you what you want in a relationship. So that's the other thing about courtship. Courtship is not about how much money he spends on you. It's not about a man taking you out, buying you gifts, and um, being really extravagant with you. Again, the courtship is really about the way that you're getting to know each other and the investment that you're making within the context of potentially having a long-term relationship. And that brings me to number two, journal. This one's for you. The guys were saying women don't want to be used for sex and we don't want to be used for money. Look, if you are in the position where you're dating someone casually, they want to take you out, they know what the, the basic rules are in a sense or what, what it is that both of you want and you guys are in cahoots on that, wonderful. That is perfect. That's honesty. But if you're dating a man and he is truly trying to explore a relationship with you and you've already figured out you're not interested in him, you need to let him know and let him go. Don't use him to take you out to dinner or manipulate him into thinking that you want something with him that you don't really want. That is a lack of integrity. And I know there's this whole thing out there like women go out and they say, ooh, you know what, I'm not going to pay for anything tonight. Look, if you go out and you meet people and you're just talking and everything's cool and somebody does the gesture of paying for your bill, that's law of attraction. When you're out there manipulating men into thinking that you're interested in them so that they will pay your bill, that's a lack of integrity and you don't want to do it. It's bad karma and it will bite you in the butt. And that brings me to number three. When you're in that zone where you're moving from the dating into the courting phase and you really have an opportunity to have something beautiful develop, don't rush it. You know, this is what happens a lot of times when you shift your dating pattern and now you're attracting a different kind of partner. You're so used to the old kind of partner that the new guy comes in and he's treating 
treating you with all the respect that you want and you're saying, oh my gosh, it's taking forever, what's he doing? Don't, don't forget that when you're asking for something like courtship, that you need to make sure you're able to receive it. So check yourself. Now, if you need any help with this, we can always do a session. We can work over Skype. We can work over FaceTime. It's so easy. It doesn't matter where we are in locations. I'm used to working with people all over the world. So I'm up at almost any hour, depending on when we need to talk. And those guys out there, if you're worried about the courtship thing and you're being used by women, listen, there's something you're missing. You don't need to cut out the courtship. You just need to talk to me. Knowledge is power. I'll give it to you. And then you'll be able to be the gentleman that you are. And you won't have to worry about being used by women. In the meantime, let me know if there's something that you want to see covered in a future video so I can put it in the topic and we can put it on the block. And cheers to the best life and love have to offer.